Hey guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Um, I'm here in my flat with Max and we're enjoying the day, aren't we Max? And really New Year's Eve isn't till this evening when usually me myself I watch one of the programs on telly right up to 12 midnight and watch Big Ben on TV ring the bells in for the new year which will be 2023 so I'm not doing anything apart from that I've done it most years um, or I've gone round my son's flat and had New Year's lunch with him but i'm on my own now completely which is fine and i you know i'm enjoying it today's been okay so far um alexa what's the time please the time is 8 47 a.m alexa what's the date today it's saturday the 31st of december alexa what's the weather like right now in rochester it's 12 degrees Celsius with showers. Alex Today's forecast is clouds and showers, with a high of 13 degrees and a low of 9 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? What's Tutankhamun's least favourite film? Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. <laughs> I wonder where she gets these jokes from. Because she's obviously programmed with them. Um, so guys... Um, today I'm just going to chill and take each moment as it comes um, life is life you just let it go and see what happens next right so today um, I got up um, 7.15 I heard kids noises upstairs running across the ceiling but that you know it's New Year's Eve it's been Christmas those kids are cooped up in a flat and you know that's what I expect and it wasn't that loud anyway and I was half awake anyway before the kid ran across the ceiling so I was just chilling chilling like catching some sleep on the sofa and um, I, I laid down till about 10 past 8 and then I got myself up and switched the gas on it's gone off, I've put it on emergency credit, but it's warm in here without the heating on. And I really just put the, the gas on to do some washing up really. So I'm, I'm completely happy. I got up, made myself a coffee. Uh, those milk tray chocolates made me feel a bit sick um, during the night. Um, it's not the milk tray that I remember when I was a kid in that milk tray advert which my, my dad used to buy my mum milk tray at Christmas and it used to come in a small little box and the box was bigger and the chocolates were bigger and they tasted nicer and these milk tray didn't taste as nice as the ones as I remember in the 70s and early 80s and that advert with the like ninja climbing up the wall to give his good girlfriend a box of chocolates mysteriously so I, I made myself a cup of coffee and I thought well I need to get some food for new year and I want to do it while it's quiet and there's not too many people about so I got my coat and my hat went downstairs and I first put the emergency credit on and there's people on the railway station <coughs> because I there's a railway station at the back of the flat um, then I came back through the flats and went out to the co-op because I needed to get to get some food and the lady was stocking up the bakeries the pastries uh, they were hoovering with like the machine and um, this, it was nice and clean in there and this and the staff were nice so you know good start to the day not too bad feeling quite perky and good and quite happy um last night last night was noisy <laughs> it, it was really noisy last night so first 
first of all, I went in the co-op and I've got some cat litter. Co-op cat litter. My mum said she was going to get me some, but she hasn't heard from Charlotte or Stuart. So I've got the cat litter. <laughs> I got myself a latte. A regular latte from the co-op machine not the Costa coffee shop this came out of the coffee machine in the co-op the Costa coffee machine so I got myself a coffee so this will last a couple of days then I've got to go to the post office to top my gas up on my card so really I'm just living hand to mouth like other people. Going a couple of days with a bit of shopping that's overpriced, double priced, and then topping up my gas. And that's how I'm living. Every couple of days, food. Every week, gas. And that's how I'm living. I haven't been anywhere to the shops to get anything in the sales because basically I can't afford it. Not yet. Half and half for Buck Burton's medium loaf. My pastry was a Danish crown, apple like an apple crown. The Yuzu drinks are one pound forty. Um, I've got four point four pints of Dairy Farm semi skimmed milk, four pints. Um, thin sliced chicken, thin sliced ham, some corned beef medium slices because I like my corned beef mashed with potato bananas and you get two Turkish delight for a pound so I've got two Turkish delights there all in a co-op bag which I carried down from the co-op myself because I haven't got anybody to help me and nobody I know drives a car so I haven't got a, a, a husband, a partner, a boyfriend to take me to the shop. And I really did feel out of breath, guys. I really did this morning. I don't know whether it was because I ate those chocolates before I went to bed, but I couldn't breathe. <clears throat> and when I was carrying the bags down the road, I was gasping for breath and having to stop. Mashed potato. Yes, and what, what comes after Christmas? Everybody booking their holidays and Easter eggs and hot cross buns. Happy Easter for hot cross buns. These are vegan briochettes with chocolate chips and cereals. These look interesting. Vegan briochettes. here bag of what's it <laughs> I purchased the daily mail the new year's eve daily mail because the shops will be shut tomorrow sunday new year's day two boxes of three in one nescafe coffee i like the two in one because i don't want the sugar but they don't do them anymore just the three in one coffee i don't i didn't want the one with the sugar in because i don't want too much sugar in my diet bottle of water and a bottle of cloudy apple juice and shopping is expensive cat litter is expensive I put a lottery ticket on for tonight, so I've got a lotto ticket, they, that used to be a pound, it's two, and I got myself a scratch card, 75 million cash spectacular, so we'll see, I've got a scratch card with three pounds on it, I mean,
you've got to take chances in life and somebody did win a huge amount of money on a scratch card and it is possible but if I win nothing so be it I've had fun trying as long as you have fun trying it doesn't matter <laughs> And I don't know about anybody else, even when I lose, especially on a lotto scratch card or a scrabble scratch card, it's, been, it's taken about five or ten minutes of boredom out of my life when I'm scratching these letters off and I'm scratching the, the lotto numbers off and then after ten minutes of doing that and you find out you haven't won, it's still satisfying. It is. I think so. <laughs> Anyway, guys, New Year's Eve is not going to be like New uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I will not let things get me down. It was horrendously noisy last night because I believe his girlfriend upstairs dropped a, 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 the noisy kid off and he started clambering across the ceiling like a volcano going off on the top of my ceiling and I just laughed. What was I watching last night? I was watching, oh, Jason Manford. So these kids were noisy right up to 11 o'clock last night and I was watching the stand-up comedian, Jason Manford, talk going through COVID and, and masks. And one of the things that he said was, um, Right, the masks stop COVID, but you can still smell farts through them. So if it wasn't for Jason Manford keeping me amused with his hilarious comedy and watching top of the pop videos from 1980 to 1990, I think I would have gone mad last night, but I was actually laughing my head off. Likewise, when they made noise in 2021 and I was watching Ricky Gervais and laughing my head off, Jason Manford entertained me last night. Guys, don't let things get you down like I do sometimes. It's not worth it. See you later.